The Curtis P60 was a 1940s United States single-engine single-seat, low-wing monoplane fighter aircraft developed by the Curtis Wright Company as a successor to their P-40. It went through a lengthy series of prototype versions, eventually evolving into a design that bore little resemblance to the P-40. None of these versions reached production. Design and Development the initial design contained in proposals to the United States Army Air Corps was for an aircraft based upon the P-40 design but featuring a low-drag laminar flow wing, a Continental 14-1433 inverted V engine, an 8-wing mounted 0.5-in, 12.7mm, machine guns. This proposal was accepted and a contract for two prototypes was issued on October 1, 1940 with the aircraft designated the XP-53. Within two months the Army Air Corps modified the contract to require the second prototype be completed with a Rolls-Royce Merlin engine in place of the 14-1430. That aircraft was redesignated XP-60. The airframe design for the XP-60 was modified for the different engine, and the main landing gear was changed from the rearward retracting P-40 design to a new inward retracting version, which allowed a wider wheelbase and a smooth wing surface when the gear was retracted. This aircraft first flew on September 18, 1941 with a British-built Merlin 28 engine. The XP-53 prototype was then converted into a static test airframe for the XP-60. Considering delivery delays of quantities of the Packard-built Merlin engines due to its use in other fighters, the use of a turbo-supercharged Allison V-17 10-75 engine was considered in its place. Consequently, on October 31, 1941, a contract for 1,900 P-60A fighters using the Allison engine, was awarded. Operational History In the meantime, flight tests of the XP-60 prototype were not progressing smoothly. In addition to landing gear problems, expected top speed was not being met due to shortcomings in the laminar flow wing surface finish, relatively high radiator drag compared to the North American P-51 Mustang, which was then flying, and less than specified engine output performance. Consequently, work on the P-60A was stopped on December 20, 1941, when the USAC recommended that Curtis concentrate on license production of Republic P-47 Thunderbolts. On January 2, 1942, the order was changed to produce one XP-60A with the Allison V-17 10-75 engine and a General Electric B-14 turbo supercharger, one XP-60B with the Allison V-17 10-75 engine and a right so a 504-1 turbo supercharger, and one XP-60C with the massive Chrysler 14-22-2016 cylinder inverted V engine. At the time, availability of the Chrysler engine was coming into question, and after Curtis noted that several hundreds of pounds of lead would be needed in the tail of the existing airframe for balance, a decision was made to install a Pratt & Whitney R2800 radial engine in the XP-60C. In the meantime, Curtis installed a Merlin 61 engine in the original XP-60, and after enlarging the vertical tail surface this aircraft was redesignated XP-60D. The XP-60A first flew on November 1, 1942. While official interest in the P-60 waned during summer 1942, interest due to the promise of improved performance with the installation of the R-2800 engine resulted in a contract for 500 R-2800 powered P-60A-1 CU fighters with contrarotating propellers. With concern that the contrarotating propellers would not be available on time, the XP-60B was modified to take the R-2800-10 engine driving a four-bladed propeller. This modification was redesignated XP-60E. On January 27, 1943, the XP-60C flew for the first time, powered by an R-2800-53 engine with contrarotating propellers. The aircraft's flying characteristics were found to be generally satisfactory. The first flight of the XP-60E with the four-bladed propeller was delayed until May 26, 1943 after it was found that due to its lighter weight, the engine installation had to be moved 10 inches forward compared to the XP-60C. In April 1943, the U.S. Army Air Forces decided to conduct an evaluation of the various fighter aircraft in development and use, 
in order to eliminate the least desirable models. Curtis was requested to have the XP-60E participate. As the XP-60E was not available, the company hurriedly prepared the XP-60C for the evaluation at Patterson Field. In the event, due to various issues, the XP-60C performed poorly, resulting in reduction of the production run of 500 aircraft to two aircraft. In January 1944, the XP-60E was flown to Eglin Field for official trials, where Army Air Force pilots found that it did not compare favorably to contemporary aircraft designs. When Curtis expressed the desire to abandon further work on the P-60 series, the Army Air Forces insisted upon completion of one of the two aircraft in production. The aircraft when originally ordered was designated YP-60A-1CU and was redesignated YP-60E. This aircraft flew on July 13, 1944 and was subsequently delivered to Wright Field. The YP-60E differed mainly from the XP-60E by being powered by a 2,100 HP, 1,566 kW, R2800-18 engine as well as the fitting of an all-around vision bubble canopy. With the development contracts cancelled in June 1943, the program ended ignobly when the last prototype was scrapped on December 22, 1944. To replace the P-60, Curtis built 354 Republic P-47GS instead for the USAF. The XP-60E survived to be sold as an entry for the 1947 National Air Races, but crashed during a qualifying flight before the competition was held. Variants XP-53 Curtis Model 88, derivative of XP-46 to request for data R40C specifications. Laminar flow wing and Continental 14-1433 engine. Contracted for October 1, 1940, cancelled in favor of XP-60 in November 1941. Two built, one converted to the XP-60, the other used as a static test airframe. XP-60 Curtis Model 90, Rolls-Royce Merlin engine, armament 8.50 cal machine guns. One built. First flight September 18, 1941, modified to XP-60D. XP-60A. Curtis Model 95A, Allison V-1710-75 engine with B-14 turbo supercharger, armament, 6.50 cal mg. One built. P-60A. Planned production version of XP-60, 1900 ordered, all cancelled. YP-60A1 Pre-production version of P-60A1 with single prop 26 ordered, 2 built, 1 rebuilt as YP-60E P-60A1 Planned production version of XP-60C with Pratt & Whitney R2800-18 engine and contra prop, armament, 4.50 cal MG500 ordered, cancelled before any built XP-60B Curtis Model 95B, V1710-75 engine with SOA 504-2 turbo supercharger, armament, 6.50 cal mg. One built, modified to XP-60E. XP-60C. Curtis Model 95C, planned for Chrysler 14-2220 engine, built with R2800-53 and contra prop, armament, 6.50 cal mg. One built. Rebuilt as XP-60E, original XP-60E rebuilt as XP-60C. XP-60D. Rebuilt XP-60. Curtis Model 90B, Packard V1650-3 engine, crashed May 6, 1943. XP-60E. Rebuilt XP-60B. Curtis Model 95D, R2800-10 engine crashed January 1944. XP-60C reconfigured to XP-60E status. YP-60E Modified YP-60A1 with bubble canopy. First flight July 15, 1944, cancelled December 22, 1944. XP-60F Planned modification of YP-60A1 with different model of R2800, cancelled before conversion. Specifications, 
XP-60C General Characteristics Crew, 1 Length, 33.92 feet, 10.34 m Wingspan, 41.33 feet, 12.60 m Height, 12.33 feet, 3.76 m Wing Area, 275 feet superscript 2 25.6 square meters. Empty weight, 8,698 pounds, 3,945 kilograms. Loaded weight, 10,785 pounds, 4,892 kilograms. Power plant, 1 times Pratt and Whitney R2800-53 radial engine, 2,000 HP, 1,492 kilowatts. Performance Maximum speed, 414 miles per hour, 360 knots, 666 km per hour. Service ceiling, 37,900 feet, 11,600 m. Rate of climb, 3,890 feet slash min, 19.8 m slash s. Wing loading, 39.2 lb slash foot superscript 2. 191 kg slash m superscript 2 power slash mass 0.19 hp slash lb 300 w slash kg armament guns 4 times 0 0.50 in 12.7 millimeters m2 browning machine guns roll fighter aircraft manufacturer curtis wright first flight september 18th 1941 Retired December 22, 1944. Status cancelled. Primary user United States Army Air Forces. Produced 1942-1944. Number built 5, all converted into new variants. Program cost $8.88 million USD. Developed from Curtis XP46. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.